Hi, I'm Ella Schubiker and um, I'm from Switzerland. I'm from a different country and I'm a foreign exchange student this year and I got to spend one year into an American high school and living an American life and um, it's been great. I, I didn't really know what to expect from America because we get like so many Switzerland has a great American influence. We listen to the same music, film, uh, movies, and um, we eat the same food, like Burger King, McDonald's. But um, I didn't really know like what to think about the people. I hear that they were like really open and loving, uh, but I actually kind of like never knew how much they were loving and open till I came here. So I came here, and everybody greeted me, greeted me with a hug, and it's been like it's been like great to see that. And um, through my high school, I got the pleasure to like meet so many different people, like in the race to think, um, personality-wise, and um, someone like kind of like sticked out of that group. Um, his name is Caden, and um, I met him during choir, and we were like kind of like all way like all year friends but uh, we really like started hanging out in March and um, it was a big surprise like I didn't expect to meet someone like him because um, he's a really godly person he is really strong in his uh, faith uh, in God and um, I kind of like didn't know what I was supposed to do with him like uh, it was weird like it, it's kind of like weird being like it's weird it's weird being around him because um he like talks about god a lot but um actually it was really interesting to listen to him because um i didn't know didn't know a lot about um christianity and uh, because i was born and raised atheist my dad is a Christian, actually, my Swiss dad, but he never shared his belief, and uh, my mom is atheist. So um, I started hanging out with Caden, and um, <laughs> once he, uh, um, he's a musician, he's a singer, and um, he sat in his room and he was singing praise songs for me. And um, it was super weird but I felt that something is happening because I thought like if there would be a God, if there would be something greater than me, I could, I would feel it like right in this moment. I felt like I've been the closest to God I've ever been before. And um, it was an amazing feeling. I just like felt really peaceful and calmful. And it was like kind of like I wanted to experience this feeling again. And um, we continued hanging out. He took me a couple times to his church uh, and to Bible studies. And um, once, like, I, I just started asking questions about everything because I was wondering what he thinks about and what his belief is. I'm here to uh, hear different people's stories and that was the story he, has, he had to tell. So I, I asked him about that and he told me so many things and, and I started asking questions about myself, um, what I do believe in, what I stand for. And um, I wanted like to go with him to church and Bible study uh, for me, for myself. I wanted to go there for myself to um, do something for myself. And once um, at a Bible study, um, we were there and our uh, common friend Ashley was there as well and um, it was the last Bible study of the month, like of the year and I don't know what happened. Before this Bible study I was like on my way to like start believing and like think oh okay there might be something else in me but at the, this Bible study I basically refused to believe anything because um, when you are born and raised atheist, your mind, like your brain is kind of set one way and it's really hard to change that. And uh, my mindset came back like, 
it hit me so so uh, so strong. It was like, okay, no, um, it can't be true. It can't be something else in me. And um, I felt like really helpless in in this moment. And Kate and Ashley and another friend Leah, they tried to explain me and um, do as much as they could for me. But um, I didn't want to. I w didn't want their help. The help. And we ended all like up crying and stuff. And that was a rough day. And um, the next day, uh, Leah texted me, and um, her text said, "Yeah, Ella, what do you stand for? What does your heart believe in?" And I thought about that question, and um, I found out that my heart, like, it really wants to believe in something else than myself, and it knew that there's something greater than myself, but my brain didn't want to believe that because. Um, it's been born and raised one way, and uh, nobody else showed um, me a way to trust in someone else than myself. So, um, so I started thinking about a question, and I texted my friend Kay in a super long text about like, yeah, my uh, my heart knows that there's something else to believe in, and um, after that he read the text, he was like, okay, I come and pick you up. And uh, he picked me up later that night, and we drove to Ashley's house, and we sat in her foreyard, front yard, and we were holding hands, and um, they really tried like to explain me. We were talking about like God, what it means to be a believer, about Bible and um, Satan, what Satan has, a, like how Satan ties in into all uh, the story, and um, that night I was really listening, like. It's like one of the only times I really listen to people about the word and um, try to understand what they said. So, um, and there was a moment, it was, yeah, and we were sitting there holding hands and I don't know, I began shaking and because my brain went crazy with what I was thinking about because I didn't know what to think about and um, so many things happen at the same time. And I started shaking and I kind of like, my head were lay, was laying my arms and um, I don't know, I was like crum crumbled together or something, crouched together and um, I had a breakdown basically, I had a breakdown. And um, um, Ashley and Caden were praying for me but I couldn't really hear them because I was so focused on myself. And I thought, okay, one way, the only one way to stop that is taking a leap and start believing. Because how you are right now isn't good for you. Um, it wasn't healthy for, for anyone. And um, I sat there and I was like, okay, you start believing. Um, you take the leap of trust. And um, after I said that to myself, um, I got calm, like peace was flowing over me, like ripping on me and I felt really calm and peaceful. And I looked up holding still the hands of my friends and I looked them in the eye and said, okay, Jesus, son of God is my Lord and Savior, Lord and Savior. And, um, that was like, that was a thing, okay? That was a thing. <laughs> it felt incredibly, like, I, I, I don't know, I felt like that it changed immediately. And um, since then, I'm kind of a new person, but I'm still the same person, but I'm just like different because I believe in something else. And I don't know, I just feel like much more like peaceful and calmful and I know that like, when I struggle with something, it will be okay because he will take care of that. And when I go back to Switzerland, um, I'm really excited to tell that story, but I don't know how people, especially like my mom, will take the story. Um, but I know that it will find a way because he has it planned out for me. And I am really excited for like, what is about to come, what he has planned.